Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work because I have an interesting little math word problem here for you. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. The cost of your favorite tea doubled. With 7% tax, you now pay $12.50. What was the original price? Okay, now this might be uh, distressing to some of you because you like tea. Uh, this doesn't bother me too much because I am a coffee drinker because of the price of coffee double. Matter of fact, maybe the price of coffee has doubled. Maybe I haven't been paying attention with all this inflation. But uh, nevertheless, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, so we're clear on the question. The cost of your favorite tea doubled. With 7% tax, you now pay a total of $12.50. What was the original price? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So the original price, and of course, this could be like one box of tea or whatever unit you want to think of, but approximately $5.84. All right, so if you got something that's pretty close to this, that is a good indication that you did this problem right. And we must celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you know how to set up and solve a basic algebra word problem. And that is uh, pretty much what we're dealing with here. Now, there could be other ways to solve this problem. Okay, so if some of you figured this out, and uh, did not use algebra, maybe used another creative approach, that's perfectly fine, but uh, algebra makes things so much easier. So I'm gonna show you how to solve this problem uh, by using algebra. And again, if you did this in another way, that's perfectly fine, but you might wanna pay attention to this way as well. Okay, so here is our problem, and of course, it is a math word problem, but with any problem, you wanna read it at least three times to make sure you understand what's going on. So we have this T, okay, it doubled in price, and then we went to the checkout counter, okay, or, you know, online checkout counter, and, or check out, and uh, they added 7% tax, and so your total, grand total for this T now is $12.50. What was the original price? Okay, so we want to uh, find out the original price without the tax, okay, so that is without the tax. So... After you kind of, you know, read the question, absorb uh, the facts and information, what we need is some sort of model here, okay? Now, you know, oftentimes in uh, algebra word problems or math word problems that involve like geometry or some, some sort of way where it's easy to kind of visualize the problem, this particular um, problem is maybe not so uh, easy to visualize. So what you want to do is still come up with some sort of model of what's going on. And let me show you how um, I'm going to suggest that you, you know, model a problem like this. And by the way, uh, this particular um, type of problem is kind of a classic uh, math word problem. And for those of you that are actual math students that might be taking algebra or some other math course, if you figure out how to solve, I would say, a good handful of type of problems, what you're going to see uh, typically, okay, in most math courses are kind of variation uh, variations on those types of prompts. So again, something like this is a fairly common type of prompt to run into. But let me go ahead and show you my model. All right, so we're trying to figure out the original price of this T. And in the problem, okay, it says, well, the cost of the T doubled, and then we have several uh, percent tax, and now we pay twelve fifty. So we have to figure out financially, uh, you know, what you know, the tr the, what financial transactions are going on here, okay. So let's just kind of um, come up with a pseudo formula, right? That's just a kind of fancy term for, you know, a general formula. We're not going to use variables here, just kind of, uh, yeah, we're just going to uh, figure out the transactions that are going on uh, to represent the problem, okay? So I'm just going to let this OP here be uh, represent the original price. So it says that 
the, um, our price of our, our, of our favorite tea doubled. Okay, so if the our original price, whatever it is, if that doubled, okay, we means we have to multiply by two, okay? So this right here represents our price doubling. But now we have to place 7% tax on that new um, cost, right? So that means we're going to have to add, um, add our tax. So this is our tax right here, okay? So what is the tax? Well, it's 7%. So we have to find 7% of the new amount, which of course is double the original price, okay? So 7% of a doubling of the original price, this would be our tax. So here is our cost plus the tax, and this of course would be our total, okay, our total amount at checkout. All right, so two times the original price, original price plus 7% parentheses, uh, two times the original price. All this right here, you know, is basically a visual model or an easier to understand model of the transaction that's going on uh, that represents this problem, okay, the transactions, if you will. So with this, we're going to, you know, kind of think to ourselves, all right, well, you know, we need a variable to represent the unknown. And what is the unknown value here? Well, the unknown value is the original price so because, uh, you know, you're looking for an unknown value, algebra should come to mind because we can let a variable, something like X, represent uh, the unknown value. And then what we want to do is set up an equation. But you can see here, this is pretty much already set up for, uh, set up for us in terms of an equation because this is an equation. We have an equal sign here. But instead of using this OP, original price, um, notation. Let's go ahead and formalize this with an actual variable like x. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So x would be equal to the original price. So we're going ahead and we're going to go ahead and define that. So we'll let x equal to the original price. So this here now is the same formula, but instead of the original price, we are using x. So x is our original price. This is the doubling of our favorite t. And then this is the tax, right? So we'll so, okay, well, here is the new cost, which is double of the original price. So 7% of that will be our tax. And then here is our new price. And we add this to get, uh, together. We're going to get a total here of $12.50. Now, of course, we are dealing in terms of dollars as units of measure. So it's probably a good idea to kind of add that in, add that in right there. And this $12.50, uh, you can put the dollar sign in, but pretty much uh, it's not necessary. But you do have to remember what the proper units of measure are. So now what we have to do is solve this lovely equation for x. All right, now if you um, didn't know how to set this up, I would suggest to see if you can solve this equation, okay? Because obviously we have a percent here and uh, feel free to use a calculator by the way. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. But before we do that, I'm going to show you this, which is a nice invitation to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This really does help me, okay? And it helps me help others, okay? And that's really the objective of my YouTube channel is to try to grow my online classroom and reach people that are interested in math, maybe like to do math for fun, uh, maybe kind of uh, a little bit nostalgic about their days when they took algebra in the 1960s or 70s. And that's awesome too. I mean, I, that's, you know, if you just love math and you kind of want to brush off some cobwebs, but particularly I'm trying to reach um people that are really struggling in mathematics because those folks, okay, maybe some of you can relate to this, maybe are on the edge of giving up. Please do not give up, all right? Uh, you are absolutely smart enough to learn mathematics. What you need is clear and understandable instruction, easy to understand uh, instruction that's comprehensive. You see, I can give you a quick little tutorial and make you feel good about yourself, but that's not going to be enough information to truly master math. There's a lot to learn in math, but you need encouragement, support, and great instruction. That's what I try to provide. But anyways, by you subscribing, it does help me find those people as well. And if you're going to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification button as well so you can get my latest videos. Thank you so much. And now let's move on to the rest of the problem. All right, so here is our setup, right? So we have 2 times x. x is the original price, so this means... Uh, we just doubled the price, and then we have 7% of the doubling of the price. So this is our tax, right, is equal to 1250. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and solve this equation. So 2 times parentheses x is just 2 times x, so we just write that that way. 
Now, the interesting uh, part of this um, part of the equation is this percent. So how do we find a percent of a number? Well, we want to change that to a decimal. So to change a percent to a decimal, you simply divide by 100. So 7% divided by 100 is 0 0.07. Or you, uh, you can think of it this way, 7.0%. We move the decimal point over two places to the left, which is effectively the result of dividing by 100. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just uh, see where we're at. So we got 7%, so that's 0 0.07 times 2x. And again, we are focused in on solving for x. And we're just doing one step at a time here, right? I'm not trying to do too many steps because we want to kind of tell the story, you know, so somebody who's reading your work, okay, or if you're trying to prove your work to someone else, can understand, you know, what's going on. All right, so let's go ahead and see where we're at. So we have 0 0.07 times 2x. So this is all multiplication here, 0 .07, 0 0.07 times 2 times x. So in our calculator, or just, you know, on a piece of paper, 0 0.07 times 2 is 0.14x. So we have 2x plus 0.14x. So 2 is the coefficient, okay, and 0.14 is the coefficient x and x, these are what we call like terms, okay? So hopefully this terminology that I'm using, like terms, coefficients, coefficient just means the number in front of the variable, but these are um, algebra terms, and, uh, you know, vocabulary that you should be familiar with. Now, if what I'm doing is a little bit complex or challenging for you, don't despair. All that means is that you just need more instruction on this. So let me give you a couple quick suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel, pretty much, you know, everything from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So you can kind of scour through that. But if you really want some really, you know, in-depth, comprehensive, formal instruction, step-by-step -step to build up your algebra skills, check out my other uh, pre-algebra or algebra one course. You can find those in uh, the links to those courses in the description. But what we need to do here is recognize that x and x, these are like terms, okay? In other words, if I have 2x plus 5x, these are like because we have the exact same variable here to the same power. So what we need to do, or what we can do, is add the coefficients. So 2x plus 5x is equal to 7x. So here we have 2x plus 0.14x, so we can add 2 and 0.14, and we get 2.14x is equal to 1250. Okay, so finally, finally, we're down to this last step. So to solve for x, I just simply have to divide uh, both sides of the equation by uh, 2.14. You can see that work right here. So we get our calculator out. We get uh, 1250 uh, divided by 2.14. And when we do that, we get approximately 5.84, uh, 5 okay? Now that this, I kind of rounded off a bit. So we're gonna be in the ballpark range here. But uh, remember, X is the original price. We can't forget the units of measure. So this reference represents the dollar amount of the original price of the T. Now let's suppose we're like, you know, uh, looking at our answer and be like, eh, I'm not sure if I did this right. How can we check this? Well, we can go back and just go to our original kind of um, formula, right? Now this was just a, uh, a formula to represent the transactions. So if the original price is $5.84. Let's just kind of walk through what the problem tells us, right? So what happens is uh, we double the original price. So it's gonna be two times the original price. That's what it means to double. So let's plug in $5.84 uh, where the original price is in our little formula. And of course we have to account for tax. So that's gonna be 7% of twice the original price. Okay, we have to be very you know, um, you know, thoughtful here because you know, we're taking 7%, not of the original price, but of the new price, which double the original price, right? So let's see here. So we have two times uh, 584, okay, which is the original price. That's the gonna be the base cost, 1168, but we have tax, okay? So we have to take 7% on that 1168, and we could just represent that here by as uh, two times 584. So 0 0.07 times this amount is going to be 0 0.8176, and when we add these up, Take a look at what we get. We get 12.4976. That's pretty much 12.50, okay? And the only reason there's a little bit of a difference here is because we rounded off with the 584. But this is pretty much conclusive enough that indeed you did this right. All right, so hopefully you're like, okay, okay. 
you know, not too bad of a problem. And thank goodness we weren't talking about doubling the price of coffee. But you know what? Maybe coffee has doubled. Uh, that would be bad for me. I am a pretty uh, serious professional coffee drinker, although I do like tea as well. But I try to minimize my uh, caffeine intake. Where some of you might be saying, well, I don't know. You know, you might drink a lot of caffeine because you like to talk a lot in your videos. Well, what I like to do is try to teach a lot. And hopefully you find value in my uh, math videos. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.